All right, people, what the hell is going on? Time for another little video here. And my go juice, I need a lot of go juice. <laughs> anyway, what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, I'm gonna go through a couple things having to do with Facebook groups. I don't know, man. Anytime I get around any situation where I'm dealing with a, or observing or whatever, it's just a bunch of people <laughs> all in one spot. It don't matter whether it's online or out in public. I get turned off. I, get, I do. I get turned off, man. Shit irritates the hell out of me. It does. I was just like, ah. Oh. You know, anytime you, I get in the place where I get to see and hear a bunch of other people's opinion on stuff, and you know, everybody, you know, everybody don't have the same opinion on shit. But I'm just like, yeah. You know, <laughs> It goes, it goes past having a different opinion from somebody from you just thinking that they just stupid. Now, <clears throat> the first part of this is what's been going through my head for a couple of days is the shit about the inbox and shit on Facebook. Where I'm in some group, I'm in some Facebook groups. They all sexually themed. They just are. A horny old man. What the fuck ever. You know? It's either some kind of uh, singles or a group or, or something like that. You know, it's all of that. I'm in this one group. And the moderators or the admins or whatever the fuck you want to call them started, you know, they started making these posts where they post everybody. And I already hate when my notifications ain't got shit to do with me. Such and such tags you in the book. Oh, oh, like, the fuck tag me. Look at it. And you look for the tag and they say, you know, it, it, they done tag everyone. Get the fuck out of here. I'm reading. So, people have been going, females <laughs> have been going to the admins and complaining about guys in their inbox. And Usually when you go through these groups and stuff like that, uh, they'll tell you not to be in folks' inbox and blah, blah, blah. It depends on the type of group, but generally that's that's almost always in there somewhere. You know, not to be in folks' inbox and all this other kind of stuff, especially when you get into the swinger groups and other stuff like that. We just, <laughs> you know, don't be in people's inbox, blah, 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 blah. And... They was talking about they didn't want to see, they didn't want to see no more people. If you know, they find out who it is, they gonna remove them out the group and all this other stuff. Just from you know, just dudes being in people inbox, doing what men do. And I put, I made a comment about it too, because I don't give a fuck if they kick me out the group. I'm not in nobody's inbox. I'm as passive a male as you get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Appropriate appropriation. That means you won't see me in nobody inbox or in nobody face unless I'm invaded, invited or I have some very strong clues. That's just how the fuck I am. Hell, I had somebody uh, suggest that we uh, swap phone numbers yesterday. I didn't even do it. I'm like, shit, you suggested that we swap. How about you give me your fucking number? Not for to give you my fucking number, then all of a sudden I get all these fucking weird ass phone calls to my house <laughs> from from a bunch of Indian people talking about my fucking uh, Medicare, Medicaid and shit. That's why you don't just give your fucking number out, man. You start just giving your number out, you be wondering why. That's why. Them motherfuckers took your number. You thought you was gonna get you some and they done put your number on some list. Fuck no. Uh-uh. Giving you nothing. Yeah, but I told them, I was like, you do know that you got a sexually themed group full of men and women. And generally, you 
you you know you make these couple of posts about being in people's inbox and all this other stuff like it ain't allowed in the fucking thing. I'm like, you get all these people together. What the fuck do you expect to happen? What? What do you expect? That's what people do. You know what I'm saying? That's what people do. You go anywhere. You get a group of people. You put them together. What's going to happen? They going to start fucking each other. That's what goddamn human beings do. How the fuck you think we propagate this goddamn planet? That's what we do. You go. The name of the group is the love of oral sex. The love of oral sex. And you got motherfuckers in here talking and shit back and forth and all the stuff about sucking this and blowing that and all kind of other stuff. You don't think some dude go be in the fucking in somebody's inbox? You know what I'm saying? When you made this group, what the fuck were you thinking? And that, you know what I'm saying? And that goes for all the other groups too. What the, what the fuck are you thinking? The whole point of the groups is for folks to get in there with common interests and then blah, 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 blah. Because motherfuckers going in there, hey, I'm such and such from where, wherever the fuck I'm from. Motherfuckers in there putting their goddamn location down there for a reason. Or else it don't fucking matter. I don't need to know that you in fucking Ohio or Indiana or some shit. That's the, that's, that's to let other people know where you at. So if another motherfucker from Ohio or Indiana or wherever the fuck you from could get in there and start sucking and blowing on y'all, on each other, whatever the fuck you want to do. And if that ain't the goddamn intention of the group, that's what's going to happen when you put people together like that. Let's say you are asking men not to do what we are designed to fucking do by nature. We are designed to fucking pursue. You got motherfuckers, you got women and men in there talking to each other back and forth about all this weird ass shit. Well, why the fuck am I fucking talking about this shit if I ain't trying to get it done? Explain that to me. Please do. I need that shit explained to me. Why am I, you know, and it's like that for the women because the women are the one uh, complaining and they was talking about some shit, you know, people being, being in relationships and all this other stuff. I'm like, how the fuck you in the goddamn sexually themed group have a provocative conversation and exchanges with other people online, but you in a relationship. But you posting shit online about sucking dick and eating pussy and all kind of other shit. But you in a goddamn relationship. Is your significant other in this fucking group? What the fuck you expect? You know what I'm saying? What what did you expect? I don't give a damn what the rules say in a group. You know, you go on the fucking uh Facebook groups, and when you go to the little page where you can join the group. And sometimes you have to ask, ask questions, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. And then they had this little box, you know, to accept the rules. Well, why is the fucking box at the top before you even get to the rules? They just go hit that shit. <laughs> they just go hit that shit and not go read the rules. I always read the rules. Even when, if I, if it's some bullshit. Because I ran across one today. Actually, I ran across two of them today. One of them was weird. One of them, one of them said, uh, "Freaky." They had the dog emoji and the uh, eggplant emoji. And the rest of the name is blah blah blah. I think I took a screenshot of it. I might put it in here if I can find it. Uh, if I put, if I, if I find it, I put I, it'll be up on the screen. And like what I'm doing right now is in the rules of the uh, of the group. What, go, what goes on in those groups are supposed to stay in those groups. Give a fuck. Fuck them goddamn groups. You know what I'm saying? I snatch shit up out them goddamn groups. <laughs> if you that so goddamn worried about your goddamn privacy, you might need to stay your ass offline all the fucking together. Because people take screenshots and shit all the goddamn time. Your name is probably all over the goddamn place. You know, yeah, but it's like a uh, freaky dog emoji, eggplant, and then something else else like, 
you know, I don't really, I ain't really with this shorthand, you know, emoji culture, but I know how to follow that shit. You know, just the fact you got a dog emoji and a fucking, uh, and then you got some little white lady with a dog, like, just like, and then if you hit, if you hit, if you hit join, it'll bring up the thing where you got to answer the question. So I hit join just to see, cause I was like, let me see what the fuck this is. And then the questions are vague as shit. One of the questions is, what do you think this group is? I was like, okay, that's nebulous as fuck. That, that by itself is a red flag. And then it says, how much experience, uh, how many years experience do you have with this subject? I was just like, this is a, a bestiality group. This is a bestiality group. If that's what you do, I'm not judging, but I'm like, oh shit. If you just go by the name, it's not well disguised. But those questions are very vague, nebulous, whatever the fuck you want to call it. What do you think this group is about? I'm looking at the goddamn name. I'm thinking y'all talk about animal fucking because that's the only way you can take that. That's the only way you can take it. And then you being funny with the goddamn questions before you get into the group. You know, that like... Let me cancel this goddamn request before they fuck around. Well, I didn't answer the question, so. But uh, I just just to make sure. Nah, I don't know. That's fine if that's what you do, whatever. But <laughs> it was weird that I was like, ah, I, I didn't think I was going to run across that. But it was just the fact that those questions, man. And then I ran across another one. is Texas Singles something. Texas Singles or some shit. Seemed like a decent group and all this other stuff. But that group, I, I mean... You can't, you can't, you can't cuss in there. That was the main, the main thing I saw. I was like, ah, right, get the fuck out of here. You can't even cuss in the group. That was like, you know, if you type, uh, shit, damn, motherfucker, if I had a list of cuss words, you can't type those, or else you yo, you can't have that in there, or else you, your, uh, whatever you post won't be approved. Fuck y'all. Yeah, fuck y'all. Because I, I, I type, how I talk and that a lot of times includes a lot of profanity god damn it you know what I'm saying it just does cause I don't always I don't you know sit there and do this shit on my goddamn phone I, you know I, I, turn, I hit the mic man I get the mic I hit the mic I say what the fuck I'm gonna say and boom I hit send I don't even check that shit that shit be wrong as fuck sometimes but I boom I, mean, I can't cuss it's a goddamn group full of grown ass motherfuckers tell me we have to be sensitive there's a wide range of people in here you have to be sensitive to all languages and all these people I don't want no I don't want to be in a group full of fucking sissies yeah fuck no I was like hey get, get this shit out of here you kiss my ass but yeah back to this inbox shit back to the inbox shit because that's, you know, like I said, for these people, you join a goddamn group. And this ain't the only group, but this is just the, the latest one. And with, especially with one with a name as it got, the simplest name. And I joined that group, not because of the name. You know, the love of oral sex. I'm just like, that sounds, that sounds like one of those groups that sounds like a name of a group, especially the way they typed it. It's all lowercase and stuff like that. I mean, you could at least capitalize some shit. Uh, and uh, it, it seemed the, the way that it, it, it looked on the surface looked like it's somebody that, you know, somebody make a group because they trying to hook some up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't making it. They try to, they, they try to hook some up for themselves. That's what it looked like. It's, it's not, but that's what it looked like. They actually have, I mean, I'm complaining about it and I'm talking about it, but they actually have a group that's ran like the fuck you supposed to run it. It's just the fact that you get all these people in here and one chick was in the group talking about uh, if you're going to make posts in the group, and this wasn't even an admin, I don't think. If you're going to make posts in the group, keep your, keep your clothes on, you know, 
don't nobody want to see you in your underwear or some shit like that. I'm just like, you in a goddamn group call for the fucking love of oral sex. And you bitching about people posting pictures in the intros of them not fully clothed. I mean, you can't post nudes, so you ain't complaining about that. But, and it was a chick, so I'm like, are oh, you complaining because you see women posting stuff? Because that's, you know, I, that's what I see a lot of uh, new women posting stuff. They might be in a bikini or something. I, I don't remember never seeing nobody in their drawers. But even so, you in a sexually themed group. What? If it, if, if it ain't somebody just posting some naked ass picture, what the fuck? And I'm gonna tell you right now, the memes and the subject matter of the posts or the little jokes that they crack is a lot more, a lot worse than seeing somebody naked. I'd rather just see a bunch of naked pics than, than read some of that shit that people post in there that they think is funny. And I, I, I literally, it's just like, uh, most of my replies are either SMH or that that little uh, that little uh, what's that little image of Bob with his hand over his face like uh, that's 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 usually it. Every once in a while there'll be be something I can comment on, and I always make my little wise ass comments or whatever. I'm like, man, come. These supposed to be grown ass people, man. They don't act like grown ass people. Well, they might act like grown ass people. They don't act like mature adults. I'm just put it like that. That sounds a lot better. Mature adults. They don't act like fucking mature adults. You complaining about people posting pictures and they might not be fully clothed. You not see, you you ain't for to see no titties. You ain't for to see no vagina. You ain't for to see no dicks. So what the fuck are you complaining about? Because that shit wouldn't get approved no way. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't even get approved. But the little shit that you do see, you complaining about it. And I'm assuming that you, it's, it's coming from the, you you don't want to see a bunch of women on your goddamn time. Well, I don't like seeing the dudes. I, I don't like when I open up my Facebook and all the group posts be on there and it's all it, just dudes' faces. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Mark. Hi, I don't want to see that shit. Do I complain about it? No. If it's on my timeline, I hit the fucking X and get it off my timeline. On the group page, then it is what it is. I'm like, can people stop posting all this dumb shit that they think is funny? Like somebody posted uh, some little caption or meme or whatever about it's, it's really hot outside. This is that weather where a woman is outside all day and she come inside and her coochie got that little twang to it. That's the best time to eat it or some shit like that. I'm like, you nasty... Really, that, 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 you know, everybody got what they find sexy, attractive, or whatever the fuck. It is what it is. Everybody got their shit. But I'm like, really? That, that, that's what, that's what gets your mouth watering. That's, that's your craving. A woman that have been outside in a hundred degree heat all goddamn day, come inside sweating and shit like that. And you, you want to stick your mouth on that all day. I mean, she been pissing and farting and shitting and all that other shit all goddamn day long. Yeah, that's that's what you want to do. Good on you, bruh. You keep you a big ass bottle of mouthwash with you, not the good minty shit. No, you need that brown ass Listerine. You <laughs> you need that shit. If that's if that's the kind of pussy you trying to eat, that's what you need. You need the brown Listerine, motherfucker. You don't get the flavor shit. You need to get all of that shit out of your, out of that. Tell you right now, I be out in the sun all goddamn day and sweating and all kind of other shit. And uh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, somebody, if I'd have been out in the sun all goddamn day and some chick was like, hey, let me suck that thing. I'm like, 
can I please go take a shower first? Because you are not going to be happy with what's going on down here. It's been hot, sweaty. It is not fresh. You know, this little crevice right here in your crotch. You know, do you want to be up in here? You know, whew, you want to be up in here? You think that stink after being in the heat all day? People don't put deodorant down there. Not like the shit they put up here. They might put some powder or some shit. That don't do nothing. Dry your ass out. Make your skin look all ragged. <laughs> Why well, stick up my arm up? You know, just come on now. Nasty. That's the kind of shit motherfuckers be posting there. Some of the shit be funny, but most of it is just like, I'm in here with a bunch of teenagers and I'm about as immature as you can get. But this shit, I mean, you found this funny. And that's, that's the main reason why I'm in the fucking group to start with is because I can go in there, I can find little memes, not like that shit, and I can be like, okay, boom, I say that. I got some, I got about two of them in my phone that my poor little people in my phone gonna get one of these weekends. I'll find some some weird ass way to tie it with a, with a uh, you know, some kind of alliteration or something like that with a day of the week and I'll post it, I'll give it to them. They expect that shit from me, so it's, it's whatever. As long as it ain't too nasty, I ain't gonna post that shit about eating some fucking 100 degree musty ass pussy. Ugh. That's triple ugh on that. Goddamn. Ugh. So. <laughs> uh, with the inbox, I said I was talking about the inbox, but I think I covered the inbox. You uh with the ladies complaining about dudes being in their inbox and then folks be talking about, you know, the one dude actually said it, well shit, they need to clearly state somewhere that they in a fucking relationship if they don't want nobody in their inbox. You know? Well shit, I mean you don't want nobody in your inbox, then you need to put it out there that you're in a relationship. And my whole thing is if you're in a relationship, you need to not be online having erotic conversations with people. You know, makes sense to me. Unless your relationship is busted, then that, I mean, you got some shit you need to work out before you start hopping your ass online. You know, this call, you know, you sitting there, you having provocative uh, exchanges. And that word provocative is derived from provoke. And that's what you're doing. You're provoking people. That's what I say. Somebody dressing prerogative. <laughs> prerogative. Yeah, man. I'm dressing prerogative. No, you dressing provocative. <laughs> prerogative. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't even get it out there. Ah! Provoke. Pro you know what the hell I was trying to say. Anyway. You're dressing provocatively. Which means you probably out, you got a little skirt on, boobs all out, you know what I'm saying? Which would a lot, what most of the profile pics and shit look like and um, stuff like that. Uh, you know, everything, anytime a picture is posted, it's, it's always provocative. If your titties out and you, and you turned around, you know, if you turned around in your picture to where it's obvious you just taking a picture of your ass, that's fucking prerogative. I'm going to be doing that all day long, ain't I? Aren't I? I'm just going to be saying prerogative all day long. Provocative. <laughs> prerogative. I'm going to be <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that all day long. Provocative. You know, why am I still turning like this? Because when you look at a black woman, just think about it. How many times is this the angle you looking at her from? You can't see what's going on down back there on my video, but you know what's going on down there on her photo, cause it's showing. Because it ain't no point of her taking a picture if I ass ain't in. That's provocative. Look at this. Uh, 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 look at it. Oh, you sitting there, and he's right here just blue. Uh, look at these. This isn't provocative at all. Now don't message me or talk to me at all. Oh, look at these. Bastard ass man. You know, get the fuck out of here, man. 
It don't make no fucking sense. Why are you all lying? Attention whores. And then when they get the attention, it gets irritating to them. And then they go crying to the goddamn admins. Attention whore. That's not a term that's been thrown around a whole lot lately, but that's a term that is needed to be thrown around a whole lot lately. Attention fucking whore. And that's what a bunch of these women out here are. They want to go out. And go out means a whole lot of stuff. Go online, do them. They want to do this. They want to look the part. They want to do this, that, and the other. They want the attention. You know, but that attention got to come from somewhere. And, you know, who, who the hell is giving you an attention? The motherfuckers that want whatever it is you showing. You walking around here with a goddamn Thanksgiving turkey. Can't nobody have none. Can I get a leg, a wing? Can I get the tip of the wing or something? No, motherfucker. You can't even get the giblets. You can't have none of this. Look at it, smell it. But you can't have none. And then when motherfuckers start reaching for it, ah, help! These niggas won't leave me alone. I'm naked and they won't stop looking at me. Be talking to me. <laughs> Why the fuck? <laughs> Why? Dude, that's, that's, that's exactly what they're doing online. You hop in these goddamn groups, you having these conversations. It's men and women in here going back and forth with each other about shit. Why the fuck you talking to me about sucking some dick or talking uh, any sexual theme or whatever the fuck? Getting me all worked up. Shit. Are you trying to help? Because at this point, you're just making shit worse. Don't talk to me about shit if you ain't trying to help. Finish, baby. What the hell wrong with you? And that's why my, uh, I'm in the groups. Now, these groups are a little bit different from those swing groups I was in because them swing groups are just, I, you know, as a man, I just wasn't, I wasn't, uh, there was, that, I didn't have to deal with none of this because there was no activity in those groups. You know, it's, it's a whole different goddamn thing. But these groups right here are just kind of regular ass, bunch of normal ass people in there. Whether it's a singles type of group or just a freak group or whatever that love or a sex group is where you can talk about sucking dick but you can't try to get your dick sucked. That that ain't what this that ain't what that app this ain't no this ain't no uh dating app. Oh well, yes the fuck it is. Anytime you get a group of people together, it's a date now. If it's five people standing out in front of my house right now, it's a date now. I don't give a damn if it's all women, all dudes. Leave them motherfuckers alone for long enough. They gonna start fucking each other. At least a couple of them will. <laughs> and that's my whole thing. Don't put up. Don't 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 create a group. Make a bunch of rules and then get mad when people be people. You know, don't get mad when people be people. Now, yeah, you have to enforce some kind of shit because I understand how dudes can be. You know, I, I really do. I understand it. But you put yourself as a female, you put yourself in that position to be pursued and chased and all this other stuff and get mad when it happened. Don't hop in my face talking about no goddamn broccoli casserole and you ain't got nothing for me. You got my mouth all ready for some goddamn broccoli casserole and you ain't, you don't even have an empty bowl for me. You got nothing. Not even a fake out. <laughs> Just nothing. Nothing at all, man. It's a burnt, it's a burnt, uh, burnt incense. I was, I was trying to see if the wood still had some of the scent on it. I guess not. I burnt it all off, baby. Yeah, but that's, I think that's about it as far as that shit is concerned. These are uh, these groups can be entertaining or whatever, and I'm like, hey, I ain't happening to nobody inbox, so all that shit don't pertain to me because I got enough problem hopping in people inbox. On you think you think about it like that? That's what they do <laughs> when you hop in somebody inbox on on, on that shit. Hell, I don't hop. Why would I hop in somebody's inbox on that shit 
where they be going right in the tell about I, I say I can't get no action when I hop in people inbox on date naps and that's what the fuck I'm supposed to do <laughs> maybe I need to hop, up, hop in people inbox somewhere I ain't supposed to hop in somebody inbox because hopping in people inbox when I'm supposed to uh, don't seem to be working maybe I need to do some shit I ain't supposed to be doing I need to flip the fucking script I need to flip that shit all the way around flip the fucking script but anyway I think that's it as soon as I stop the recording I'm gonna think of something else but that's it for that fucking Facebook groups stupid ass shit just whatever you know I was gonna put that I was gonna put the screenshot up there I'm not gonna put the screenshot up there about the little funny animal group <laughs> I'm not gonna put the screenshot up there Nah, let, let them folks do whatever the hell is they want to do. They want to sit around and kiss and fuck their animals. Uh, let, them, let them do it. That's what they want to do. No judgment for me. I've seen it. I got the internet. Those animals seem to be enjoying themselves just as much as those people are. So I, you go right the fuck in and handle your goddamn business. And those animals... Tend to know what the fuck they doing too, so and then like there's some weird shit going on. Dogs be like, we ready? We ready? We doing this? We doing this? The camera on, right? The camera's on? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this world, people, and you know, different strokes for different folks. Nah. <laughs> anyway, let me get out of here. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.